Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. The Anti-Drug Abuse Act of 1986 created a 100 to 1 sentencing disparity between crack cocaine and equivalent offenses for powder cocaine. Now, according to the U.S. National Library of Medicine, non-white people are more likely to use crack cocaine, the one with a harsher sentence, meaning that this disparity had a disproportionate effect on non-whites which many opponents claim is the real reason it was instituted at all. Now, the Fair Sentencing Act of 2010 reduced this disparity from 100 to 1 to the current 18 to 1. But a new bill in Congress called the Equal Act would eliminate the sentencing disparity between crack cocaine and powder cocaine entirely. Equal, in this case, stands for the Eliminating a Quantifiably Unjust Application of the Law Act. The House version was introduced by New York Democratic Representative Hakeem Jeffries, while the Senate version was introduced by New Jersey Democratic Senator Cory Booker. Now, supporters argue that the two types of cocaine are essentially equivalent except for texture, meaning the sentencing requirements should not diverge so greatly, or perhaps at all. But opponents counter that the sentencing disparity was instituted for a good reason. As Christian M. Stevens wrote in a 1997 Missouri Law Review article, quote, Why aren't increased sentences for crack looked upon as a benevolent measure designed to protect black communities from those who would distribute crack to the poor and the children of the community? Well, time for me to uh, do some coke. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I see what all the hype was about.